So I was talking to a friend of mine last night, and he told me that he'd really like to build one of those electric bicycle things that you put in your house in order to charge up your cell phone and your batteries and your computer and stuff like that. And I thought to myself, I have all the parts required. I have all the pieces. I've got like four or five broken bicycles. I've got a whole bunch of um, copper wire. I've got all kinds of stuff that could do that. I've got a couple of inverters. I've got, yeah, I've got everything. Take a look at what I found in a trash a couple of days ago. And that's going to be one of the main things of this new build that we're going to be doing. So it's going to be a multi-part project. Probably going to take a month or two to finish. But stay tuned, subscribe and like, and you'll be able to see me at least attempt to build an electric bicycle to charge up batteries in a complete system if the power is out or if you just want to save some electricity. So take a look at this. So I was just walking out by the um, garbage pile and I saw something that I'm definitely going to go salvage. Take a look at this. So what do we have here? We've got an old treadmill and right inside there is some of the nicest permanent magnet DC motors you can find. So let's take this inside, we'll take it apart and salvage the motor out of it. That is a lot heavier than I anticipated. Lots of metal. I think I'm actually going to let it dry out a little bit before I take it apart because it's got a bit of snow on it. Okay, so we'll take this apart here and get at the motor and take a look at how good it is. I already actually have a treadmill motor around here somewhere. And it's a 19 amp, 90 volt DC permanent magnet motor. So this one should have a nice one in it too. Let's see what we can get. 